How's it everyone? Welcome to Open Court. Today I'm talking about a print string called the Tour XP. Let's check it out. So when it comes to strings, Prince is known for their synthetic gut with Duraflex. Not really known so much for polyester strings, so let's take a look at what this XP Tour has to offer. If we look at the back of the packaging here, it says, with a unique thermal poly design, Tour XP is perfect for the advanced player looking for the control and spin of a polyester string with the added benefit of extra power. That's what the XP stands for in the Tour XP. So first of all, what is thermal poly design? That basically means that during the manufacturing process of this string, the core of this string is superheated, and that way, this heating process makes the string softer than some of the other polyester strings that don't use a thermal poly design. Softer equals more spring, more trampoline effect, and therefore you get a little bit more power. It's supposed to also be easier on your elbow. If you guys have sensitive arms, uh, these thermal poly strings or quote unquote power polyesters generally play a little softer so they're supposed to provide a little bit more uh, protection for your arm. Usually the trade-off you get is that softer strings also result in a faster loss of tension. So the technology behind the string is that it's supposed to provide more power for your game because of the soft pliability of the string due to the thermal poly design. Let's get on the court and find out if it lives up to that promise. Alright guys, I'm on court here. I got my Prince Tour 95 racket strung up with the Prince Tour XP string. This is a 95 square inch racket, it's a very low powered frame. So I'm hoping the Tour XP will unlock some extra power, extra pop for this low powered racket. Let's find out. Ah. Alright, so I got this Prince Tour 95, really low powered frame strung up with a power string so I'm hoping I get a little bit more pop and it is getting some decent decent pop decent power it's pretty soft it's not as soft as some of the other softer strings on the market but it's definitely not crisp if you like a tour bite or a alu power it doesn't feel anything like those strings ah. The response is actually kind of springy. I'm not sure I really like the springiness off the bed. I don't quite feel the ball sinking into the strings. It's more of it's more just flying off kind of like a trampoline. If you do like that kind of response, this might be good for you, but I like one that sinks into the string bed a little bit more. So I know where I'm gonna hit the ball, where I'm hitting the ball on the strings crisp lively response this is not that kind of string but it is powerful and it is soft I don't feel any pain in my arm at all I think this might be a good option as a soft string if you want to protect your arm or if you don't want to you know some people love poly they don't want to switch off of it but they have arm problems you can try this one in a hybrid maybe in the mains and put a synthetic gut in the cross. It is fairly powerful though. I can feel the pop flying off the racket. I'm kind of excited to see how this string serves. Okay. The response is definitely has that springy feel, just like from the baseline. The ball is just really flying off the racket. I made it the right decision in stringing this in a 95 low powered frame. This string feels much more springy, much more lively at the net than I was expecting. I'm barely swinging at the, the ball and it's flying longer than usual. I think you got to be more disciplined at the net, otherwise your ball might fly out. If you have a big backswing, 
Like I know some of you guys like to swing at the ball. This, this string is gonna fly your ball out. But if you can just block it in front, it gives you a decent amount of power and gets the ball deep into the court. I don't know, so far I actually kind of like it at the net at least because I don't really swing at my volleys that much. I just kind of block it in front. This string is giving me a lot of help. Even in this low powered 95 square inch head, just block the ball in front and you'll be fine. Yeah, it performs very well at the net, apart from that springy response, but it bothers me more from the baseline than it does at the net for some reason. Maybe it's just because I'm not taking that big of a swing at the net, so it doesn't really affect the launch angle that much. It's just a little bit soft and mushy here. Yeah, the high volley. Get some pop. I'm barely swinging at these volleys in a 95 square inch racket. And oh, just like that one, it flew long. Even on the high volleys, it gets enough punch that I don't really have to swing at it. Yeah, I just block it in front and it gets a decent amount of power. Play test. All in all, this was a decent string. It was a fun play test for me. It's not a string that I can see myself switching to because I did not like that springy response. However, if you want a softer string to help protect your arm a little bit, but also not lose that control that polyester strings are touted for, this could definitely be a good option for you. So first, let's start out with the pros of this string. So the Prince Tour XP does what it promises, which is to provide a little bit of extra power for your game. Um, I strung it up in a low powered 95 square inch Prince racket, and even in that racket, I could feel the ball jumping off the string bed with some decent power and this allowed me to hit some passing shots which is pretty difficult with a 95 square inch racket especially for me because I don't have those powerful ground strokes from the baseline. I think the power really showed itself on the flat serve. This Prince Tour XP really did a good job of shooting the ball out of my string bed on that flat serve and I was able to hit the corners with some velocity. The returns rarely ever came back if I hit it cleanly. Also at the net. Uh, it didn't really take much effort to be able to punch the ball deep, but at the same time I had to be disciplined with my swing. I couldn't take a big swing at the ball because the ball would sail on me. But when I was approaching the net after a serve, the low volley down by my knees, it was really easy to dig the ball back deep. This allowed me to get into position to hit the second volley at the net. So I really liked it on my flat serves and on the volleys. Also for a power string, it's not overly soft. But at the same time, it is still pretty comfortable. I didn't really feel any jarring sensations on my arm. The comfort level is decent. It's definitely a little softer than some of the firmer polys out there, but it's not too mushy, not too soft, I would say. So for me, that was a plus because I don't like mushy strings and I don't really like strings that I can't really feel the vibrations. I like a slightly stiffer and crisper response. Now getting into the cons, what I didn't like about this string, first of all, the biggest con for me was that the strings, after playing with it for about a week and a half, they started to get stuck out of place. The coating wore off and they would get stuck on my ground strokes. Um, I would have to flip my racket around to try and get any sort of spin. Uh, my kick serves were not kicking as high anymore. My opponent was able to tee off on the shot, so the spin level definitely plunges after about a week when the coating wears off and the strings start to get stuck out of place which is not typical for a poly you usually see those with synthetic gut but this was the biggest deal breaker for me the strings getting stuck out of place uh it really i really struggled to put any sort of spin once the coating wore off the second thing was the springy response off the string bed this I noticed from the very first hit all the way to when I put the racket down a week and a half later, that springy response did not go away even after I put a dampener on. It just didn't feel right for me. It wasn't crisp and solid like the stiffer polyesters that I like using, but at the same time it wasn't really mushy like uh, polyfiber TCS or some of those really really soft strings on the market. It was somewhere in the middle. You would think that would be a good thing, but I just didn't really like it. It was just really springy. It didn't feel like the, the strings were pocketing the ball, like really sinking in. I didn't really know where I was hitting the string bed and the ball was just kind of trampolining off. So this springy response was not to my liking at all. 
And lastly, because this is a, sh a softer string, softer poly, the tension maintenance is strictly average at best. It wasn't great, but it's not terrible. Um, I got a solid week and a half of playing out of it. Uh, the strings start getting stuck out of place well before the tension really plunges. So for me, the tension maintenance is fine, but the strings getting stuck out of place made the strings playable before the tension dropped off anyway. So if you're looking for a string that maintains decent tension, this is a typical polyester string. I don't think it's anything special, but it could work as a hybrid. I, I see it being a good hybrid cross. If you want to put a natural gut in the mains or a synthetic gut in the mains, I think this could be a good uh, polyester cross so that you can still get some decent spin, decent control. Also not sacrifice that comfort and the power you want to get. As a full bed, the coating wearing off, losing the spin generation just didn't really do it for me. So all in all, this is not a string that I would personally use, but I definitely think there is an audience out there for this type of string. It's not overly soft and mushy, but at the same time, it's definitely comfortable enough that it won't hurt your elbow. Also, it does get some decent power, like it promises. It does provide that extra power, so if you're using a low-powered frame, if you want a little bit more juice, the Prince Tour XB could be a good string for you. I think this string is best suited towards flat hitters who want to strengthen their strength, they want a little bit more power, more pop. If you're a heavy spin hitter, you swing south to north a lot, I think the strings are gonna get stuck out of place and you're not gonna like this string after about a week. So I definitely think this string is more geared towards people who hit flatter, who don't have to worry about straightening their strings after every shot. For those of you who are looking for better control, better spin, instead of the Tour XP, maybe you can give the Tour XC a shot. The XC stands for extra control, so that might be more to your liking. In conclusion, even though this wasn't a string for me, I did enjoy trying out something new. I don't really try power strings that often, so it was definitely a good experience for me. So thank you, Prince. Thank you for watching this string review of the Prince Tour XP Extra Power String. If you like this content and want to see more like it, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on the court.